So Ryan, just from Saturday and what you saw that you really want your team to implement now heading forward from that victory? I, I think there was better connection with our group. That's the one thing. And I, I really like the way our forwards worked and skated. Um, Seattle's a fast team. And I, I thought we made it difficult on them. And that means that we were skating and, and we were in the right spots on the ice. So there's a lot of good things that we can take from that game. There's been so much focus on Kadri's productivity in the early going this yeah. season, his lack of points, and now he gets four in three games. So does it feel like he's turned a bit of a corner? Um, I, his play hasn't changed from really day one. Like his work ethic has been there, and sometimes he's been a guy that's gone up and down in regards to the points when he puts them on the board. But um, you would be concerned if you saw the work ethic dip. Um, and he's not putting the points up because that's a different situation. But I, I felt like his work has been as consistent, if not more consistent, than any of our forwards in regards to how he's skating and competing. Um, so you did feel it was a matter of time before things would start to go for him. I've liked the line. Yeah, they've had some time in the offensive zone and they've made some plays. Do you like about his influence maybe on guys on the bench, whether talking or, or having a kid like Zary next to him? How do you find Nazim has had an influence on those? I think, you know, that's that's a good question. But I think the one thing that I've noticed with him, he's almost taking um, Zars under his wing a little bit where um, maybe um, Connor makes the wrong play or a play that you could do something differently. And you always see Cads like float by him. and. It's not, hey, you got to do this. It's like, hey, no problem. Next time we got it. So I've seen a lot of growth in him in that regard. And I think he's, I think he's almost realizing that, hey, I'm up there in age now and I am a leader here and I have to help bring some of these younger guys along. And I think he's done a good job with that. I really have the, the young players, you know, you talked about how they can always add excitement and kind of an infusion. Do you feel like Martin and, and Connor have brought that to the locker room? I do. I mean, that's one thing, the young guys, they're excited to play their first games, of course, but it's also, I don't want to call it a shot across the bow at all, but when you see some new guys come into the room, it's like, hmm, huh, they will bring some guys up at times. So I think it, it kind of goes both ways, but you feed off the excitement of a younger player. There's no doubt about it. Now, they're going to make some mistakes along the way, and the hope is it doesn't cost us some games when we when we use them in those situations. But I, I think both those guys in particular, and you can throw Nick in there too. He did a good job for us. Does, Ryan, does their debuts, and less about the goals, I, I mean, obviously that's a nice perk, but the fact that they've come in and, and contributed in a way that's been you know, effective for the group, I mean, does that speak to the way that these guys, some of these kids have prepared, not only maybe over the offseason, but you know, in their time in the AHL? Too? Absolutely. And you, you know, it's hard. And we talked about Matty Coronado before he went down. Like, um, these guys have played pro for a number of years. And the American League isn't the NHL. I mean, it's not. But you're also playing against guys like uh, Brett Sutter, who's been a pro for a long time, and he understands how to do it, and he's harder to play against. So you learn how to play a different style of game. Um, and I think because of that, these guys are ready. When their chance comes, they've done a good job. The, the Wranglers coaching staff has done a really good job of making sure that they're playing the way we asked them to play, and, and they've allowed them to play with confidence, and you've seen that when they've come up here. So it's, a, it's something that's important that we continue to get that from the Wranglers and their staff. They've done a great job with those guys. Now, the guys you've called up created some internal competition and how important is it to have that internal competition? Uh, it's it's important. It's you, you can talk about that with your goaltenders. You want them to be um, good buddies, but you also want them to push themselves. Um, if it's the same all the time, eventually complacency can set in at times. And if sometimes there's some fresh blood around, um, it forces you, hey, I got to find another level right now too. So the competition is good, Willsie, for sure. I know that you and the coaches have worked really hard to keep spirits up through a tough stretch to start the season. So how encouraging was it when your team fell behind a couple of times on Saturday that they stuck with their game and, and found a way to win? Yeah, scoring goals early after. Like, they got up on us, and then we found a way to get one back. They got up, or they got another one, found a way to get one back. And then it was nice to see the response in the third period. That's what I think I was most pleased with, is we came out the right way. We started, we found a way to get one early, and we didn't really let our foot off the gas, which is which is a good, good sign for our team. Is that your most complete game of the season so far? Uh, yes, I would say so. What, what can it mean for a, a group? You know, it, it had probably been feeling like just nothing was kind of going their way. Mm -hmm. So what can it mean for your group to just finally get the result and, and try to now build in the right direction? Well, it allows them to breathe a little bit. You know, it's heavy and there's no hiding it. It's, it's when you're not getting the results, um, the players feel it, the staff feels it, it's heavy. Um, the challenge now is you take the kind of newfound energy and you don't think it's going to come easy the next game. 
I mean, we have to be harder and we have to be smarter than we were in Seattle. And that's the way the game is going to be from now on for us. Is it encouraging to see more participation in practice today at a Brzezicka? Uh, absolutely. Like we've talked, I know it's, you guys probably say day to day forever and you're laughing at me, but he's been close. It's just some minor little things. So we're hopeful that he, he responds well after today and we have him available for tomorrow. Speaking of practice, has there been a bit more pace at practice over the last week or so? Um, trying to, I, I think at times, yeah, we've changed some drills up a little bit to try to um, become a little bit more predictable. Yeah. What was your assessment of what Martin Brodin is? You know, I, I thought he did a really good job of just playing a simple um, big winger game, if you want to call it that. Like, he was hard on the forward check. Um, he's a big man that skates well. And one of the things that you do not do notice is he's very strong on his stick and on his feet. So um, when he gets in against bigger defensemen, it's not that he gets knocked around or pushed around. But what I really liked about him is he didn't overcomplicate anything. He made sure pucks went to where they should be. Um, he fit in well with Michael and Blake, and um, you know, hopefully they can continue to provide us with good minutes.